Hello everyone. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how to repitch yeast. Sometimes when you have a high gravity beer, um, you don't get the attenuation from your yeast that you need to finish it off. So you might be left with uh, some residual sugars that leave a very sweet uh, beer. This is what happened here. This is an Imperial Stout. Its original gravity was 1.096 and uh, it finished off at uh, 1.032. Now I should have done my homework and um, probably should have asked uh, the expert at my local home brewing store, but I was given the wrong yeast. I was given a, a, an English ale yeast when I should have been given a dry English ale yeast. So the English ale yeast finished off at 10.32 when it should have been at, uh, finished at 10.20. So I'm going to pitch the super high gravity yeast that uh, will take it hopefully down to where it's going to have a nice dry clean finish. The first thing I need to do is sanitize my spoon because I'm going to stir the heck out of this. Since that side won't fit in there, I'm going to sanitize this. I use star sand, by the way. This is a, uh, it's a sanitizing uh, agent. It's an acid, and you mix it with water. And you do um, about uh, one ounce per five gallons of water. Sanitizing. Got some star sand in here, obviously. I'm also going to add a yeast nutrient called Fermade K. Bought this at the local home brewing store. And um, this, the yeast love this. It's a nutrient that they uh, just seem to do really well with. Okay, so I'll take off my air box. Put it in my sanitizer. I'm going to stick this in here. Give my yeast one final shake. It's nice and room temperature now. I've had it out for a while. Oh boy. And it's ready to go. So I am ready to pitch. Um, one thing that um, was recommended to me is that you do heat up the beer um, when you pitch it. So I'm going to turn up my temperature regulator up to 72. And um, I also have a fire going. It's a nice cold winter night, so that fire is going to help it stay nice and warm in here. Okay. Now I will add yeast nutrient. The Fermade K. Yeast loves Saccharomyces. It's a nice bacteria that yeast will just eat up and it allows them to build very strong cell walls and survive the onslaught that they uh, have to undergo when, uh, when you have a high alcohol beer like this. This beer will finish off at 9.4 if this yeast does its job, which I'm sure it will. Just pitch the yeast and the nutrient. Now I'm stirring the heck out of this beer. And don't worry, uh, you are stirring up the trub uh, again and uh, it, it had been settled. Um, this beer has been, a, it's been fermenting for about 10 or 11 days. That's fine. Um, it will settle back out. Uh, you're going to kind of reactivate this. So 
with this new yeast. And you want this to be nice and stirred. Okay, I, I've stirred for about three minutes, and now I'm going to remove the spoon, put it into my bottom bucket. I'm going to give uh, this guy a little squirt of some sanitizer because I'm paranoid. And I don't want anything funky in my beer. So I always sanitize well. And then I'm going to put this back on. This right here is a temperature regulator. I'll do that. Uh, I'll discuss that in the next video. And always remember the most important thing about home brewing or doing anything related to home brewing. Having a nice craft brew to drink while you're doing it is essential.